game to entry that family level 9 juice just need to do my message today. Let's go. Okay, how can you hear me? Hello everybody, I'm Jim Jim. Great. Okay, you Alright, so what can I do? Um let's have a look at some games. Let's have a look at the game between yeah, let's see. Between whom for oh okay. Let's actually play against Mark R and X. Good luck. Okay. It's from Italy. It is Dojon. Good luck. So alright. We trade it. Um yeah, that's let's say main line of the of the of the of the Sicilian with d4. Right, I play queen c7, then some slang bishop to b4, etc. It's an idea. Okay. Bishop to b4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Bishop to d2, knight to f6. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, mm, so position is pretty alright. I see protects his pawn. I just go to castle. Yeah, just castle. Um, right, knight to c6. Knight to c6 takes takes. My idea is something like e5, for example, to free. No, I don't pre move pawn. <laughs> okay, lol, I accidentally pre move pawn for b6, taking my bishop on c8. Okay, <laughs> lol. First pawn cannot move backwards, second pawn move pawns move only on one square. Third, I cannot take my own pieces. Yes, I was. <laughs> Prime of literally breaking all chess rules. <laughs> mm hmm. It was. Okay, bishop e6. Okay, so if he'll take on f6, I'll have two bishops' advantage. But okay, he doesn't. Okay, rook eight to d8. I don't want to re I don't really want to give him. The control over d5. So, rook to d8, and if he takes with his rook back, I'll take back. So yeah, it's nice as it seems. I could make queen. I could make queen b6 uh, instead of rook a to d8. But I don't know. He could do b3 there, and it seems like I just somewhat wasted a tempi tempo. I'm not sure if I really would waste it there, but okay. Right. Mm hmm. Okay, queen b6, if knight to e4, then queen to b5. And queen trade seems okay, maybe. I mean, maybe he won't play knight to a4, we'll see what he'll play. Yeah, if knight a4, I can have bishop a, I can play queen to a5, etc, etc. True! Pretty, that's the truth. Alright. Well, yeah, he goes for this. Let's see. I play queen to a5, attack his knight. Will he come back with the knight, or will I play move to b, uh, pawn to b3? Just want to see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, b5. Then maybe I can advance my pawns c5, c4, etc. But main idea of b5 was to play queen to b6. No! Pawn <laughs> Pawn doesn't move like knight. Stop this weird pre moves. Okay, I'll play knight to d7, protecting my pawn on e5. Why, why am I pre moving this bishop to take my pawn? Oy, oy, oy. Um, yeah, and then idea also is maybe to play queen to c7 and then put knight to b6 and knight c4 
and this stuff. Why did he take? Oh yeah, yeah, that's weird. Pre moves. Yeah, right. Just to make my position a bit more active. Let's say like this. And also bishop to c4 now seems interesting. If he and if he goes for queen e3, I have something like bishop c5. Not sure if I'll go for it. My next move, as I think, with what I'll do is queen to c7 to free my knight because now I can't really move my knight. All right, this queen c7. Now the thing, if I put my knight or bishop to c4, he cannot put it away with his pawns. He have to put or his knight to d2, b2, or his bishop, or his rook, but rook and queen won't be that good. Okay, now the same, he cannot do this with pawns. And now this, now c4 square is pretty weak, a4 either, but here I won't do c5, I think, because after c5 he has moved like knight to d5, and yeah, ah, what? Okay, I don't want to flip board. Um, if I play bishop c4, he can go for queen to f3. What is his plan with this move? I mean, let's say I don't really know. I guess I can take bishop g4. Uh, but I'm not sure if it will be great. Yeah, um, okay. I guess I will take an knight to b6, knight to c4, this stuff. As I said, it can be not really good. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it is good. Maybe it's not good. We'll see afterwards. Right, so knight b6, idea to play knight c4. <laughs> I have a question after I put my knight to c4. <laughs> what else will I do? That's true. I mean, knight c4 position is safe, let's say, a bit more space. As I think. Because he's, or maybe let's say not more space, but in my eyes, his, his bishop, his pieces are really passive, for, at least for now. And yeah, I, knight c4, he cannot take my pawn on e5, because if he takes, I take with queen, he takes he, with his queen my queen, I take with knight his queen, and I'm a piece up for a pawn, but as we know, a Peace is better than a pawn most of the time. So I don't say that it's peace is always better than a pawn than the pawn. Uh, but let's say in like some sort of ninety nine percent of cases, <laughs> yeah, minor peace is better. But still, there is one. Or maybe let's say not ninety nine. Actually, twenty percent pawn is stronger than a piece because if it's a knight <laughs> and two pawns just don't let him move anywhere. Like, yeah, let's say that knight is stronger, right? <laughs> so, yeah, let's say there is 20% chance that pawns are better than the minor piece, but, or oh, maybe 90, because 80 is a bit too less, I think. Okay, h6, I prevent his idea to play h6, because if he did play, then his pawn is pretty far away, and he, yeah, I don't have much uh, space then, so. How I think this is pretty good move preventing is h6 by him. Yes. Alright. So I think position is somewhat equal. Maybe at some point I can try to play a5. If he takes, I take with queen. And this pawn and this knight can be weak. I don't know though. Okay. Place rook d3. So if I take with rook, he takes back like this. Right? I don't know. <sighs> I can play knight b2 <laughs> to somewhat force him to take. It will be really forced to be honest, but yeah. Ah. <laughs> Do I take the... No, let's say... Queen 2, two, two, two c8? I don't know if I really want to trade. Yeah, let's try to trade. Maybe it's not the best idea, but if I trade, he takes, I can play rook d8, try to get to second rank, etc. Right, yeah, not 100% not sure that it will be great. Ah, okay, he takes with the rook. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay, I take with rook. Also, let's take the rook. 
Mm -hmm. All right. I guess he will take my queen and then play a4 and try to get a better pawn structure. Yeah. Okay. At least he took. And now if he, yeah, and now he does this, right? But here I've moved bishop to e7 with idea to take your pawn. So that can be risky. Okay. I take a takes b because if I took c takes b, then it's rook a6. I take on b4. He can take on b5, so you may even a pawn down. Uh, but here, I like my position more than his. I mean, usually you like more, your position more, yeah, because you play with your position, but yeah, hold on, hold on. Um, because his pawn on b4 is pretty weak, and I won't say bishop on g3 is bad, bad, but it's not the best piece in this position, I think. And if, let's say, he tries to protect this pawn with rook, or something like this, I can take control over other open files, so I don't really think this position is better for him. But of course, I can be mistaken. It of course can happen because I'm a human, and yeah, <laughs> they can do a mistake. But still, I cannot say I'm completely winning. Where yeah, it's mating one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he still has some chances. I like knight a2 move for him, and then if I play rook to a8, yes, move to c pawn to c3. But then I have knight d2 and this stuff. Okay, I take. Yeah, there, knight is pinned, and I probably will get it at some point. Alright, bishop c5, and now maybe bishop to b6 is an idea. So with my bishop, I can free my rook, and it can take other open files, because right now my rook is somewhat attached to this c6 pawn so I don't really <laughs> think if I move my rook away it will be any good for me so 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 if I play rook d8 knight d3 uh-huh okay bishop to b6 and if knight d3 I can play pawn to f6 for example yeah okay f6 Ow, oh, and now he can play knight to b4 maybe and try to attach my rook to this one for even more. That's true. Aha, uh -huh. maybe this bishop b6 wasn't the greatest idea, to be honest. Okay, knight b4, I mean, if he puts his rook away, yeah, he doesn't keep pressure, then I can... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I just want to say that if he puts... Ah, can I do it? If he put his rook away, then I could free my bishop up. Right. So I can take bishop f2. I guess I'm going to do this. Bishop f2, knight b2. And like this. Because if I took knight b2 now, his bishop is pretty bad here. Because here I made it a bit better. Here I got a pawn. And I'm not really sure how he plans to attack any of my pawns. Because if he wants to attack, for example, g7 pawn or f6, h6, c5 e5 is protected by pawn, and he cannot really do anything about it, then what else? Wait, what do I do? Wait a second. Um, knight a4, knight, no, let's say knight c4. Right, if he attack, tries to attack g7, he puts rook, right? But uh, my king protects it, so he needs a bishop, but bishop cannot go because of f6 pawn. And f6, h6 pawn is protected by this g7. So my pawns are making quite nice chain, to be honest. <laughs> okay, knight d6. Um, I guess the plan for me right now is to make moves, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, to make the moves. And try to maybe put knight to d8 and maneuver more with my knight because I actually want to free my rook up or play move like c5 here, not sure though, but do something to because my rook is stuck here to protecting this poor c6 pawn. Okay, I'm up on three minutes and all right, I guess I'm pretty good. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm not winning on the position, but I'm better, and if he had, like, time like I do, I guess after really long, really, maybe not really, really long, but after realization part, I would get a win. 
Okay, knight d8, knight e6 idea, or c5. You know, I could do c5, d4. Um, let's think c5. Or should I advance my king? Hmm. Now let's actually put my knight back, and now if king b4, I'll attack this pawn on e4. Right, yeah. Um, ah, this, this. Uh huh, I see. This, this, rook c6, this. Four. Three. This. Ha! Huh. Let's think a moment. Uh, maybe knight on e6 was better. <laughs> Um, right. But I guess I'm still should be good. I'll say knight d6. Ah, of course, and kings to c5. I have knight to e4, and that's with check. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just messed it up. Right, yeah. That's winning. And in my eyes, it was pretty good game. King c5, knight e4, check. Hey, you got two second increment, and he had two seconds less. That's weird. Okay, knight d5. No, the supreme move can be seven. This thing move. Um. Okay. Rook d8. Rook rook e8 doesn't matter. Like maybe rook d8 more. Five. Okay. And a one on time, but I guess in better or at least at least better even winning position. The game Mark R N X is from Italy. It is Dojon. Okay, type in the chat, good game, smile, and thanks, smile. That was how I think it was pretty good game. I'm not sure if it was the best game, but yeah. At some point, I, I, I won't hide, I got somewhat extreme, not extremely, but at some point, I got lucky, right, of course, yeah. I didn't say that I would, just was completely winning. So, um, that's Ctrl F and Alt F2. So, what I think about this game, from the opening, it was pretty good for him. Right? So, yeah. For, not only for him, for us, from the opening, it was pretty good. E5, these, Bishop E6, maybe I have slightly better position. Ah, but I don't know, I didn't feel, I didn't really felt it during the game b4, queen c7, this, this takes, takes, knight b6, queen f5, okay, that's, he says, this is an inaccuracy, I had to do rook d3, just one second b4, one move b4, then knight here, knight e2, g6, bishop h4, h5, queen g3, a5, h3, a4, Bishop g5, king g7, and I'm slightly better, but still it's really hard to win. Yes, it's a blockade, the rook. Okay, bishop f6 is alright. Oh, no, it's an inaccuracy, to be honest. Okay, I had to go, I had to take, and if he takes with rook. Ah, rook d8, but so he has to take with knight to this. Queen d6, knight e3, queen d4. Rook e1, queen c3, rook e2, rook d8, takes, queen c4, and I'm slightly better. I'm better. Feel it. h5, alright, this, this, ah, that's a mistake. Right. I had to go for a5, yeah, and try to do something here. Then knight e2, a4, queen g4, rook d6, wait, queen g4, rook to d6, bh4, bh4, queen h4, rook to fd8, and I'm better. Yeah, if you place rook a to d1, I have like knight to b2. Okay, um, that's an inaccuracy. You have to go for queen c8, and that's rook c8, knight d1, and that's equal position. Then this takes, this was a mistake. You had to go for knight d1, knight d1, rook d8, oh, rook, uh, 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 rook d8, 
8, a4, rook d2, a, b, a, b, c3, and that's equal position. Okay, bishop e7, I got a pawn, right? This, take this, this, so slowly. Yes, yeah, that was a mistake. You had to go for king f1. Not yeah, brilliant, but okay, rook c, nah, king f1, rook c7, king e2, king f7, f takes c, takes f, b f4, rook e7, king f3. We have four rook seven king of three and times slightly better, but still his chances. Alright, bishop to f2. This this and yeah, now I'm winning, but it was quite slow realization. These, 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 these. Now knight d6. And here I won time in win position the game. Mark R and X is from Italy. It is Dojon. Good game. Good game. So let's put these two games on play chess. Alright, and it's 26 games. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, 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 that was quite nice. Let's go right here and right now. And yeah, let's try to solve the puzzles. Let's try to get six right. Um, okay, so it's check. I have to do something like a defense, some defensive move, I think. And, and I think into g8 is good. But then I three this check. I'm not sure. I think, but I'm not sure. Okay, this, this and fc3. Queen d3, c2. Huh? Is that easy? Oh. Mm. Maybe a rush, but this seems very good to me. No, okay, I rushed. Ah! I hide here and get a four and I'm hidden here. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, okay, rook f2. Yeah, okay. Pah. Let's not rush. Uh, let's think. Let's spend my time. So I a lot of time. So yeah, let's, <laughs> let's try to use it. So, what I think is nice here is this. He takes, otherwise he loses a queen, right? Uh, rook takes. He takes with spawn. I play knight b5 with this threat. And if he takes, I do this. Bishop to d7, bishop d7, and this. So that seems winning. And then knight to b5, knight to c7, knight here. Yeah, that's pending, but that's how I think it was pretty easy. So if it's pending, yeah. When it will be unpending, that's weird, but yeah, <laughs> something like unpending. I would give it not really high rating. Okay, I think here it's knight to e4, bishop to e7, knight takes, bishop takes, queen to h5 with mate threat, rook to e8, queen h7, no, queen h6 I do, with attack in this, and bishop g5 mate, bishop g7 check, yeah, let's try this. Queen h6, queen h7, I take. Nice. Alright, what is here? Uh huh. So, right here, its position, I think, something like queen c5 is right, with the idea of knight g6, some discovered attacks. But there, there he, here he is. There he is. Rook to d8. And I'm not really sure if this will work good. This will work well. I don't know. Um, another thing. I mean, I g6 now. I don't think it's good. Another thing I can try is h5. And h takes g. Let's say, okay, h5 is skip. Same move. And h takes g, f takes g. Knight g6, h takes g. I don't know. I don't really know. Hmm. Right, let's try this, but I don't think it's good. Okay, it's not good, right? What's queen c5? Nah, not either. E5 with push idea, no, and bishop c4, ah, bishop c4, and now queen c5, no, um, rook b1 is possible, but I don't know for what, h5, 
Ah, this is this this okay. Mm, okay, bishop endgame puzzle. So you have to be careful, I think, if I'll trade bishops. I know, you don't have to trade. You just can do this, this, h2, and it's h1. And that's gg, <laughs> not in my favor. I can also do king to e6, then bishop d8. Um, or I can try king g6, king f7, I can trade g5. Let's say g5, h3, g6, h2, g7, h1, g8, I mean... Seems very not good for him, but then can be seven. That seems very good. For, not okay, not very good, but not completely lost either. G five H three Bishop G one takes takes. Bishop G five King G five King B seven. Ah, now that's a draw, isn't it? It is. G5 takes, takes. Okay, G5, H3. G6, H2. G7, H6. Can be 7. And, I mean, Queen F7. Can be 1. Can be 6. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, bishop f2, I mean, like these, 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 yeah, just something like, don't say that it's right, this is, now he catches me there, um, uh, this, yeah, he just has that, um, king e4, what if I just go here, <laughs> nice one, yeah, even though it's some somewhat a tactic, let's say. It's not the tactic when you think, where is he made? Where is it? It's just quiet move. Nice, nice, yeah. I like this I like this puzzle a lot. <laughs> that was quite nice, yeah, because I was thinking, ha huh, how do I advance to make it really dangerous? He jump scare off the table, he loses some time. Now, okay, maybe that's a bit not how, how I meant, but yeah. Something like that, let's say, yeah, more or less. <laughs> uh, but okay, it was just a quiet move, which, yeah, quiet moves are pretty sneaky to find, but yeah. Okay, king f3 here, now king g2. And uh, I think I just take. Okay, that's quite simple, to be honest with you, um, at least for me. Right, so if queen b7, king d8, rook a7, knight e2, this, that's a mate, and if I go to h2, king f1, this, king g1, I mean a draw. I don't know if I need a draw. Can I create some tricky stuff over there? <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, right now, I'm not sure. I don't see anything yet. Queen g7, knight e2, king h1, queen h4, rook h3, queen e7. Ah, no, I don't think it's awesome. Queen b7, king here, and if I take with queen, this can... Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, cool. And knight e2, king h1, and I play rook h3, so a rook is some sort of umbrella, and I hide right under it. Right, yeah, that's quite a nice one. Rook... Thanks. Queen c5. Mm. No, 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 this isn't awesome. Rook a8, king b3, queen e3. This, this, queen d4, and this. If I. It hiding over there? Or can I mate him somehow? Or can I lure him away and mate them? Mate him somewhere. Be bored. <laughs> hmm.
Okay, I guess rook eight. Uh, oh, okay. Was it queen c5? Okay, it was. And ah, rook a8 and uh, win here. This yeah, okay, got it. Okay, if I play king f8, it's mate. So I have to play king d8, king d7, or king f7. I mean, king d7 doesn't look good, but it may be good. Uh, yeah, king f7 seems safest. <laughs> Somewhat weird to believe, but yeah, for me it seems like it, because how do you make, like... Yeah, I thought queen h6, but this is rook g1, and I, ha I have to give my queen away. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I have somehow to, let's say, protect, because queen e7 is a big threat. If I take, if I do this, it's a mid queen d8. Yeah, it's right. F5 now because queen e5, queen e5. It's not good. If queen d6, queen h5. Hmm. F5, rook d1. This, this seems very bad to be honest. Uh -huh. hmm. I don't know. I mean, what else, right? Queen d6, I guess it's only other move. Doesn't really feel safe either. No, it's queen d6, okay. And... No. No. Ah, h5? Ah, okay. Alright, true, true. That was pretty simple. But, okay, I didn't get it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> she takes up this, takes, takes queen of one, I win. She takes up rook, takes. Yeah, there should be something, definitely, I think. <laughs> there should be something, I think there should be something. I don't know if it will be, but I think so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is queen b5, d5, rook e8. Yeah, okay. Queen b5, rook e8 takes. Nice. So, 6 right and 4 not right. Alright, now let's go here. Let's go to preferences. Blindfold chess, yes. Oh, oh I play blindfold. Alright, this play with a computerino and this. Playing with white pieces. So, yeah, I only did it. Okay, good luck, stockfish. Play 94, play 94, and then lose the game. <laughs> okay, 94, and then knight of 6 would be good, very good. Uh, but he even doesn't want to play knight e4. What? Stockfish? Are you sure you don't want it? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, just kidding. Alright, so, we need to. What does he want? He wants to take, so now he has to take on e2, I think. I mean, he doesn't, he hasn't. He don't, he don't, he, ah, let's say, okay, he not really, really need, but he wanted to take. Mm. <laughs> now, let's say, I said to him, if you don't take, it will be not really good for you. <laughs> so, he didn't add us any other choice than to take. Right, so he took. Now, h3. I mean, he has double pawns. Uh, I don't have any doubled. Uh, but okay, and uh, now he 
he undoubled his pawns. <laughs> he undoubled. Okay, that's quite weird. But okay. <laughs> quite weird to say. Now bishop d3? Maybe I have to go for bishop f3. Bishop e4, but okay, I don't know. I played this. I think he'll try some Swiss f5 later on. Or maybe not later, maybe quite soon. And uh, he does not. He goes for b5. Right. So what do you think about trading two pairs of rooks? I mean, start with one. You can trade the other one. The next move. Okay, no, I don't play rook e3, because in bishop f4 it's a skewer. So my idea is rook e3 now. Yes. And it takes. Um, Alright. How do you want to break through? Okay, king d3. I don't see how to break through for him and for me either. Okay, bishop d2. If he goes for g5... Ah, okay, he doesn't. Yeah, okay, now it's even less red because g5, g4 would have could be something. But as he just closed everything, <laughs> he doesn't have it. I mean, he does. Ah, wait, let's be careful. Let's be careful. He can play something like f5. King f6, king here, and this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Be careful, Tien. Be careful. That's true. <laughs> but after he plays g4, I play king e2, takes, takes, how do you break through afterwards? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, let's say I'll do b4 and c3. So I don't care about this side at all. So i just gonna forget about it. Okay, king f6, king g6, right? Mm hmm. Okay, let's just put even more pressure. Nah, pr not the pressure. Let's blockade even more. <laughs> right. Bishop f2. Okay, if you go king h6, yeah, then you play g4 or play king e2? I don't really see a way how you will break through afterwards. Okay, bishop f2. So king g6. Uh, look, this, this. Now king g6. No. Now? No. Why don't he wants to play it? Mm -hmm. Still he doesn't. He. You 2 a8. Oh, now king h5. Uh huh. Now he does it. Okay, I don't take. I play king e two. Now I play bishop d two. G h g h. I'll go bishop c one. <laughs> here and there and here and there and here and there. <laughs> How do you break through now? I mean, now you don't have f four. I mean, you have it, but what will it give to you? Yeah, I try not tell. I try to play to not tell of this. F4. So, okay, this, this. How do you break through? That's the question. This. You want to play F4? I mean, that's, that would be weird, but okay, maybe he does want it. I don't care. I don't want to recap my pawn structure. I go back and forth. That's why I played A3, just to make sure that another pawn will protect it. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, na na na, it's, it's nice tactic against Stockfish. Yeah, so, um, let's say some would like a tactic, how to play against Stockfish. Mm. And yeah, if you, like, if you're playing and you, you think you won't be able to win, or you, you can, but it's extremely hard, just let's say some would try to... Yeah, try to get quite close position where where not he breaks through. Try to uh, maybe I can explain a bit after this game. But here, as you can see, he cannot break through. 
At least I hope he can break through. Uh, I'm actually scared of King g5 if he plays an nf4 idea, but I don't think it will be that dangerous because I have h takes g takes h and if king on g5 I can take. Huh, I don't know what can I do there. <laughs> okay, these, these. If king g5 I can play e4 there, and if f4 just e5, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Right, so when are you planning to take my pawn on h3 or play g3, huh? <laughs> already time to go back and forth. <sighs> ah, again back, and again force, and again go to back, and again force, and again back, and force, back, and force. Back and force. Back and force. Back and force. Finally, okay, now can F3 and now F4 is somewhat impossible. And now, wait, okay, he didn't take. I was scared that he has something like bishop b4 is his threat, but he doesn't. He has bishop b4. A takes B and my bishop was there, he could sneak in, but my pawn's up here, so I could take, I can take on B4 with one of my pawns. Okay, let's say draw now. You cannot break through at all. I cannot break through either, to be honest, but <laughs> I mean, okay, man. And force <laughs> back and force and the same like for another thirty moves <laughs> back. Ah, I hit. Hit e four. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'll be really good. E four. Then bishop f four. Ah. Do I play on winner or draw? Or I don't. Let's go. <laughs> e5, then I have bishop f4. I have more space. Finally. <laughs> I don't need to go back and forth. I'll go back and forth with my king. Well. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm fine with draw. I don't want to try three angles for win. So if you do a draw, I'm fine with it. <sighs> no, no draw, sorry. Ten. Tune. This. And I won by resignation in completely drawn position. The game stuck with AI level 7. Good game! I mean, okay, position was completely drawn. <laughs> I mean, he, he could have a draw. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so let's do some coordinates while Stockfish analyzes it. Um, B7, B2, F1, A6, F4, A6. Seventy three, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. As I said, um, right here, I was a little bit scared of the plan from him to go King G5. I was really scared of it. Wait, ah, okay, here King G5. Ah, wait, let's put it off. You mean you just ignore it? Are you serious? Ah, like, no, I, I don't get it. I don't really get it. Takes. 
takes. Ah, okay, of course. Now, now I get it. Now I get it because he need to. <coughs> he cannot break through anywhere. Right. Game display blank chest. No. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I could just ignore it. I guess maybe. Wait. Maybe this won't hurt either. I know it does a little bit. No, it doesn't. Does not a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> So I also got somewhat lucky that he did go for it. I mean, okay, I could take, take this, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and yeah. Let's say this, 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 and king of three. Now I'm even better. I see. And yeah, if he goes bishop d8, bishop c1, king of five, this, this, that's a draw. Okay. So in this game it was 3 next there is 6 there are bonus 5 of race and also me and 1 next there is 6 there are bonus 4 of race and also him. So yeah, he had to go for d6 <coughs> to go to main petrov of defense lines. Now I had to go for knight c3. Here I'm slightly better and here I had to go for bishop e2. Alright, then position it was really equal. We traded one pair of rooks. Yeah, okay, I know e4 was interesting, but as I said, if you're playing against Stockfish and you're sure, not sure, and you think it's really hard to win in this endgame, because I definitely wasn't the <clears throat> one playing on win, I just closed the position, and now as you can see, he cannot break through. And for example, he takes, I take, king g5, this, and yeah. And how do you break? So now even I can play and win. Let's say this, this. Yeah. How? Oh, how to win? If you put bishop, this, that's already e4 and that's sharp. But, okay, if I do this. No, not this. For example, I did this. Bishop e1, I had king e2. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Here he played a5, but I didn't take to make my print structure quite bad. Which would be a mistake. I guess probably still it would be possible to make a draw out of it after this, right? But still, for example, King F7, and I have to regroup, but that's still quite rough to regroup that much. It says A4 takes, takes. Oh, I don't know about it. I mean, F4 takes, King F5, Bishop E1, this. Ah, I don't know, maybe I'm good, but I don't feel it. Yeah, I guess it's just nice to play bishop c1. Then you wait some moves. If you took, I just take. And yeah, he cannot break through because pawns are shelter. And, but he just played day four. <laughs> it's even tougher to do this. Right, and here it was completely drawn. And yeah, at the end we played more moves. Boom, 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 boom. Then... He didn't want a draw. He played g3. Um, and then I just moved back and forth again. Just I make two moves, literally, for more than half of the game. My bishop moved a lot. And then here I played e4, e5. He can break through, but now I have a bit more space. What? Can I fight? Hey, don't, don't scare me that much, please. And here we were mo moving, 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 but yeah, Leech has so precious, some sort of a bug. If uh, some someone plays 150 moves, Stokefish will resign. So here I won in equal position. And here's so shallow 7. Yeah, what I want to say. Um, board edit, uh, board editor. Not, not, no, not this. Board editor. Clearly board. And let's say, yeah, what I want to say, let's say if you, let's even clear it again, flip it, even if you got, uh, if you got to have something like this position, right, against Stockfish, like you're here, and you're here, Knight no, tell me, it. wait, let's say, and he has Bishop here, King here, it's drawn, because, mm, Analysis. Even though Stockfish says here, he says it's plus three for black or something like this. How much does he says? Yeah, he says plus three. But how to break through? I mean, pawns are in different color, and yeah, bishop cannot sacrifice it. Um, let's say for example, if it was another position, if it was bishop here, that's already completely lost because bishop will sacrifice him, and then pawn takes and this and promote. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to say, I mean, yeah, it's quite quite rare that this is gonna happen, but let's say you have uh, maybe this pawn now. Let's say 
let's say you have versus stockfish and that's quite bad example <clears throat> it's quite drop example I guess it, no no it's not it's not let's say you're gonna have your let's say pawn down but here that's analysis board that's completely drawn either and he would not, not get it because he cannot break through and if you place h4 takes I mean h5 and that's a draw so yeah uh, what's what I wanted to say from all of this stuff that if you play against stockfish and you understand you cannot win try to try to try to try to to have closed position like that all right so thanks all for watching the stream i hope to found something useful for you and something interesting so yeah thank you all for watching so please join on your special club and i think there are 874 members thank you very very much uh so 126 members are my daughter 1000 members so holy so very happy also please show me comments come tm fan club and my clubs there are 147 okay i want to say five but 47 Thanks a lot for 147 members. Thank you very, very much. So, 53 members, how many tournament? 200 members. So, you're going very happy. And, yeah, thanks all for watching. So, please join please my team on chess, Club and Score. Yeah, wait. Thank you all for following on, on the chess on, on YouTube and Twitch. And, as usual, please like button and subscribe, and subscribe to me. Please comment on this video. Please share on chess, Club and Score. And also, please share this and please in the description. And, yeah, bye bye. Bye bye, guys. See you soon. See you tomorrow. And, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay cool.